Thank you for tuning in. I'm really excited that DJI has released SDK 4.13 with support for Mavic Mini. And in this video, I'm going to do a demonstration, which is an extension of a video I did previously with using virtual sticks and custom flight logic. I did that with Spark. And as a side note, I've gone ahead and created this DJI SDK playlist. It has a bunch of videos in it. I'm going to continue uh, sharing my experience, what I'm learning, and putting it in this playlist. So I highly recommend checking it out, subscribing, and uh, diving in if you're interested in what this SDK can do. So what I'll start with saying is that I've taken the mobile SDK over the past year and have been extending it. And in this case, I forked it into my own GitHub repository. You can see D Baldwin Mobile SDK iOS. I'll put a link to it below. But what this fork of the DJI code does is for the Swift code on iOS, I've introduced a virtual sticks controller with SDK 4.13 and Mavic Mini. We do not currently have waypoint support. I've been testing integrating this with drone blocks and all I've been able to do is take off. So I'm optimistic that waypoints will come, but virtual sticks offer us a fair amount of flexibility and being able to send precise commands to the flight controller. And let's take a quick look at the user interface. This is the DJI SDK Swift demo. This is the virtual sticks view controller that I've added. Once again, uh, that link will be below in GitHub. I'll go ahead and run this in the simulator and I'll quickly talk through uh, what we're going to do outside with this virtual sticks test and Mavic Mini. I'm not currently connected to Mavic Mini. This is the simulator, but as you run the app, you'll see this virtual sticks interface. And what I was really trying to get my head around is the coordinate system, how that works. There's the ground coordinate system and the body coordinate system that applies to all of these movements, our rolling, our pitching, and then doing these orbits. The ground uses, I'll say, the world coordinate system and the body uses the aircraft coordinate system. And if you go to DJI's documentation, they'll talk a little bit about this. And under the flight controller documentation, you'll see uh, a roll pitch control mode. If you look through this table, you might end up like me, quite confused on what this means. And I decided, okay, I wanna take this code, test it, observe the behavior to really understand uh, how this is behaving. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we're gonna be using the ground coordinate system with velocity roll pitch control mode, and then we'll use the body coordinate system with velocity. And in an upcoming video, I'll cover using roll pitch control mode and angle, as well as the yaw control mode. But let's take this outside and see how both ground velocity mode and body velocity mode behave. So this is how the demonstration is going to work. I am pointed due north, and we're gonna use the ground coordinate system and so what will happen is Mavic Mini with the SDK 4.13 is going to use north uh, as the frame of reference as we do the uh, pitch and rolls. I'll enable virtual sticks, we'll pitch forward and back and you can see we're going forward and back north to south. So I'm going to disable the virtual sticks, let me just yaw, I'm going to yaw to the left and now when I pitch forward and back, you can see that it's still using north and south. So it's using the ground coordinate system no matter what our orientation is with the aircraft. So I'll disable, let me roll right and left. So you can see that rolling right and left actually looks like a sideways pitch, but what's happening is if you, you think about the ground coordinate system and pointed straight ahead is north, that is doing a roll along that axis. And let me just disable one more time. I'm gonna yaw and then we're going to demonstrate uh, the horizontal orbit. So that's a combination of pitch and roll 
and we'll do the vertical orbit which is also another combination of pitch and roll but incorporating the z-axis okay so what i'll do now i'm going to disable the sticks and for this demonstration i'm going to switch to the body coordinate system which is going to use the aircraft frame as the reference and I'll enable virtual six and here's what we should expect when I pitch forward and back it's going forward and back as we would expect but now let me just yaw to the right and I'll pitch again and that's probably what you guys would expect it's certainly a coordinate reference system that's uh, more familiar to me using uh, the aircraft so let me just do one more I'll go ahead and yaw towards us yaw towards the camera we'll pitch forward and back and then let me go ahead and roll left and right and once again I'm in the body coordinate system I'll do the horizontal orbit and I'm in velocity mode which means I'm oscillating between 0 and 1 meter per second which just gives us that super tight uh, flight path I don't want to go much larger than that for this demonstration you will see a bit of oscillation we're sending these commands at 20 Hertz so basically 20 times a second let me uh, disable and regardless of what coordinate system we're using I'm going to do one last demonstration with a throttle up and down so the way that'll work is it'll go up and down along the z-axis and it does not matter if we're using uh, the body or the ground coordinate system that z-axis as you know is consistent across uh, both coordinate frames let me end with one word of caution if you're working with the SDK and virtual sticks. This is very different than working with waypoints uh, that send the aircraft to go to a specific GPS coordinate. In this scenario, once you're in virtual sticks mode, your RC sticks have no control. So let me just demonstrate that. I'm going to pitch forward and back. And my sticks are doing nothing while Mavic Mini is carrying on those commands. One way I can handle that is just connect, click the disable sticks button. And so we're back to hover. We have control again. Another thing that we can do, I can swipe out of the app. And now the virtual sticks mode has been disabled. But the problem with that is I still have no control. So I'm back at my home screen with no control of my aircraft. I can launch back into the app click disable virtual sticks and now I have control the interesting thing about Mavic Mini's remote compared to the others there is no standard switch that might that you may toggle into sport mode like you have with Spark or some of the Mavic aircrafts as of right now to the best of my knowledge the only way you can regain control is through software perhaps you could do the return to home although I'm not going to test that right now but keep that in mind if you decide to pull this code from github and give it a test I highly recommend testing outdoors first then you can move indoors and do your own test the beautiful thing about virtual sticks is that it does not require GPS so you could imagine using that combined with a camera you could do some really precise uh, positioning indoors I hope that covers the coordinate system I definitely learned a lot going through this process and hope to cover the angle roll control pitch mode in an upcoming video as well as the angle yaw control mode. I encourage you to download the code from GitHub, give it a test, make it better, submit a pull request. I'd love to see what you guys add. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.